Canada has a democratic government. Canada's government is a federal parliamentary constitutional monarchy, with the monarch as the head of state and the elected prime minister as the head of government. In Canada, people vote to elect members of parliament who form the House of Commons, who then appoint the prime minister. The prime minister appoints people to the Senate. The House of Commons and the Senate form the legislative part of the government. Canadians have political freedoms with multiple political parties. Canada has a strong focus on individual freedoms and human rights. In Canada, we have freedom of speech. We can voice our opinions on the government and controversial topics and issues. In Canada, we have freedom of religion. We can choose and practice our choice of religion. In Canada, we have freedom of assembly to meet and gather together. In Canada, we have the right to a fair trial with a lawyer to present our evidence. In Canada, we have freedom of travel to explore cities, provinces, and territories. China has a communist government. China's government is a one-party socialist republic. The president of the Chinese Communist Party is the head of state. The government is made up of a one-party rule by the Chinese Communist Party with no choices in voting. The government controls the country and all its laws, politics, and economy. In China, there is a strong censorship limiting media and freedom of speech. The Chinese government limits religious options and practices. In China, the government monitors and restricts public gatherings and protests. In China, the legal system is influenced by the government and limits fair trials and impartial judges. China has a rich culture, representation of history and food with beautiful natural resources, but limited freedom of movement, and they have to apply to travel. I hope you enjoyed this presentation comparing China and Canada's governments. Thanks for watching.